All right, welcome to the introduction of Passophobia. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a few things about the game. Uh, you have your objective board here. You have about three objectives you have to do. And then on the bottom, you have your name of your ghost, which is Christopher Smith. And then the ghost responds to everyone, so anybody can you know make the ghost appear or have ghost events. And then over here to the right, you have this computer screen where you set up a video camera and you guys can scroll through and uh, see like ghost orbs or you know if you have a dots projector and uh, a dots projector and you can see the, the ghost shadows and then you got the time limit up here which uh, it varies between levels of uh, difficulty you play where we set up to amateur we have five minutes to prepare and then you play on intermediate you have two minutes to prepare and on professional you have like no time at all it starts right away and it's the exact same with nightmare and then over here you have uh, all the equipments you need this is the video camera I was talking about that you can set it up and then you can also see the video camera through the computer here you have the dots machine which I will show you guys what it does you set it up and it will light green like this and this is what you use to see uh, uh, the figure of the ghost if it passes through so when we when we say dots dots it's pretty much we see the ghost figure ghost writing the, the ghost book you know it's uh, one of the equipments you need to uh, use for the objective you pretty much uh, grab it you place it on the ground and the ghost will write in it if it's a uh, if it's ghost writing and then you have spare fox here spare fox is one of those where it can be buggy but uh, we figured out how to we figured out how to use it and then you pretty much just ask questions of the for the ghost like where are you how old are you and I'm gonna leave uh, the links of the, uh, the other words you can use for the spirit box as well. And then the next one is uh, the EMF reader. The EMF reader is really easy to use. You just turn it on. It will have level one, which is uh, light blue. And it varies. Uh, you need to get ghost activities uh, to, to, for it to like show like three or four or five. Now, if you get two between two and four, it's not an EMF. Uh, it's not a, you can't cross it out with the EMF. It has to be exactly five for it to be EMF five. And then next we have the strong flashlight. Here you go. Here's, here's an example of the strong flashlight. And then the weaker flashlight, where you can totally see the difference, right? totally see the difference and then this is the uh, the UV light you use this to detect uh, ghost fingerprints and footsteps so like if the ghost uh, interacts with the door or it uh, interacts with the switches you can use it to see fingerprints on the doors and then we have we have the sound sensing. You use this on the wall, and it will detect sound in which room. Uh, the louder the sound, the louder uh, the ghost. You, you know the ghost is in that room. We don't really use this in our play because, like, we don't we find it useless. But maybe in like a bigger bigger place like the asylum, it will be useful. And then this is the glow stick. It's the same thing as the UV light, but it's it's uh it's smaller and uh. You don't, you don't have about five to ten seconds before it dims out. So yeah, it's, it works the same way. And then next is um, the motion sensor. You'll, you'll have an objective saying that uh, detector goes with the motion sensor. This is what you will use. You'll place it on the wall or anywhere that will accept it. And then uh, just place it down. And if a, go if a ghost passes through it, it will light up like this then you know that the ghost is around that area or it's roaming and then this is the 
what what do you call it? I'm I'm, I'm gonna call it the uh, the ghost hearing because you use this to hear ghosts. The the louder, the, like the bigger the number, uh, that's where the ghost is. We don't really use this because it's pretty much like it's cheating, but we use it for bigger like us the school, the, the asylum. Uh, we use it for those. And then we have the camera, and. The camera doesn't do anything except for take pictures for more money, like evidence, <clears throat> like ghost evidence of like fingerprints, uh, interactions, the ghost itself, the cursed objects, and stuff like that. Yeah, <clears throat> and depending on how you take the pictures, from one star to three stars, this is uh, the difference between money. And then you have this, the thermometer. You use this to detect to detect the rooms. The lower the number uh, is, uh, you have greatly a greater chance for where the ghost will spawn. But if you into if you go to a room and it's like negative, and then it will be freezing temp. It's one of the adjective. Now, as you can see here, you can, you just saw the ghost on the dots running through. So meaning that the ghost is probably in one of the rooms to the left. And then here you have the your sanity pills. And this is the sanity chart. Right now, me and Biggs we're at 100. And if you take it, you uh, it will like boost your sanity up. And then this is the salt. You uh, you'll have objective uh, trying to get salt from the ghost, and you'll just place it on the ground, and uh, it will detect the ghost footprints and whatnot. And then next we have the, the crucifix. The crucifix, we're still trying to figure out how to really use it because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it prevents the ghost from hunting around the area. It will save you twice. It will burn once when uh, one of the corners will be burnt off. And then when it's fully like burnt, it will be all red. And that's the, that tells you that your protection is done pretty much. And then this is the smudge. It's a combo item. You need the lighter for it to work because if you carry it by itself, it doesn't work. The smudge is a lightsaber. You know, it confuses the ghost for five seconds if you throw it at the ghost. And this is how it works. You turn it on, you just throw it, and then you see that the smokes. And of course, the lighter. The lighter you can you you can use it as light, but it doesn't really help much because it's not that bright. You can also use the candle with the lighter as well as it's a combo item and the candle is used for objective when you have objective for like candle like uh, try to have the ghost blow out the candle if it blows out the candle you get the objective done that's pretty much what the candle does very simple and easy and then the tripod the tripod is for, uh, it's a combo item for the video camera you place it on like this and it'll <clears throat> you can place it anywhere you want in a, in a higher, and it'll be in a height of where you can see the ghost perfectly and the ghost orbs. Of course, you can set the video camera by itself anywhere, like on desk, on beds, but it won't be the view won't be great. As you can see, I put the camera down. I go to the computer here. I click on the mouse, and you see though that I place it across the door. There, you now you guys can see like what's going on in that door. You can press the space bar to activate night vision and this is where we'll see night vision this is where you will see like ghost orb if it's in the hallway and uh dots if you like say the you'll see the shade running around and then over here you'll see the total activity right from one to four it's not that bad the five to five to nine you'll have like ghost activities and you see the ghost is like active it was really active it went from eight to five and now it's not active, but 10 is when it's hunting. And the sound sensor is where uh, I put it next to the door. It will, it, will, it will tell you what room it is. So since I put it there, it's in the foyer. The foyer has no noise. So you know that the ghost is not there. This is the map of the house. And uh, it tells you where everything is. And you, you see that little battery icon over there? That's where the power room is. And that... It's the garage over there. 
And yeah, that's the introduction to Passophobia. Uh, hopefully this clears up like all the questions you guys have about the equipments you guys have. And oh, I also forgot you have these head cameras. It works exactly like a video camera, but it's a uh, portable. You you put it on your head, you walk around, and you can see whatever the other person sees and all that as a demonstration here. As you can see, when I die, I only earn $25. <clears throat> Go ahead, Biggs. Alright. Alright, so that's the end of the tutorial.